Hello everyone, for tbreak.com this is Abbas and today we are looking at the Ice Cream Sandwich Android version 4.0 on the Galaxy uh, Nexus S. This is the older version from uh, Samsung, that will, from Google that was designed by Samsung. So it's completely powered off. Let me just turn it on for the first time so you guys can see the pretty cool boot animation. Um, while it's loading, let me just quickly say that this is a completely unlocked, unbranded. Ah, there you go. Um, pretty cool looking it takes a while loading so yeah as I was mentioning this is a completely unlocked career free device uh, the guys at XD developers someone on their forums ported this over and kudos to them for bringing this to us you can check out their forums and download it from there so this is the lock screen you basically have your career listed over here time and date live wallpaper in the background and you've got the lock icon over here now I can click on this and go two ways so I can either unlock the device moving this way or I can go straight to the camera let's go ahead and unlock the device uh, I'm connected on 3G right now Wi-Fi is very shoddy on this sometimes works sometimes doesn't work it's a beta um, you know that's expected so this is what the main screen looks like you have your phone people main menu Google talk and web browser let's go ahead and bring up the web browser and I'm connected via 3G right now. So let's go ahead and search for tea break. The keyboard is really nice. I'm not sure what kind of tweaks they've done, but it's been very, very accurate for me. Um, the browser is pretty fast as well, unless it's a bit of a heavy site. Let's just go ahead and go to teabreak.com. might take a little while just loading it all up but uh, yeah there we go it's it's there a bit laggy but that's expected it's just a beta version ported over this little thing is your tabs button so if i click a new tab um let's just go to where do we go let's try in gadget and That brings up the mobile site for Engadget. Let's just go ahead and add one more for XDA. So yeah, there you go. Quite quite zippy. page let's just double tap takes you back zooms in on the surface that's the story ICS port surfaces for the Nexus S. that's where I read and downloaded the ROM from so if you guys want to try this out just go there and download it from there okay so now if we go to the tab view you kind of have these big tab big previews of the tab that you can sort of, sort of move with okay so this is your home screen once again. Click on Google Apps and you've got Gmail, Maps, YouTube, Google+, Music Videos, Books, Market, Calendar, Gallery, and Settings. Uh, Gmail has been nicely tweaked. It looks very, very clean now. Um, performs quite well. Let's just go ahead and open up an email. And it shows you the picture of the person as well if you have it on there. Uh, interestingly, if you kind of scroll down on the email, that header stays, the blue header stays for the rest of the email. So it looks quite nice. I think they've done a fantastic job with that. Uh, you've got newer and older, so if you just kind of move this way, it brings you with the older or newer email. That's, or if we go back, that's a newer email. So nice little navigation touch. We can directly go into people's if I sort of click on this. I have an option to call, email, or search on the web. Let's just go back here and let me show you calendar again. Just this is a agenda view, but we can easily switch between a day view or we can switch between a week view. Now, interestingly, on a week view, we can sort of just okay, let's kind of go there expand and contract using touch to zoom quite cool uh, i just discovered that by accident 
Um, camera allows panoramic shots, but it's uh, crashing. I mean, if I just kind of click here, there's a switch to panorama, but if I do that, it goes, but then once you start taking the pictures, it kind of messes up. Okay, let's go back to the home screen. Let me show you people now. So, you've got groups, all, favorites. Right now, I believe it's on groups. Let's go to all. That's the new look for it. Let me just go ahead and see if I can open up one person. Nice big picture. You know, their contact details come up over here. And there you go, that is that. What else can I show you? Multitasking, just hold down the home button. And yeah, there you go, that's the new multitasking view where you can very honeycomb-like, very, uh, very tablet-like. Uh, you've got the notification window as well that you can pull down, no notifications at the moment, but uh, if someone, you know, if I do get a notification, it pops up over here, it goes back up. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, what else can I show you guys? Browser, calculator, calendar, camera, clock, downloads, earth, gallery. So, pictures, albums from Picasso, obviously you've got the Picasso logo up there. Get your pictures and videos. Just kind of go through that. If I switch that way, let's go ahead and reasonably zippy. Very nicely done. That basically is a quick look at um, ice cream sandwich and what to expect nice little tweaks overall to the interface this is google talk it brings you pictures of all the people you can switch between different accounts as well if you've got a couple different ones so quite nicely done uh, google plus is an application it's not built in dialer again you've got nice big keyboard to dial out very honeycomb kind of look to it recent and favorites let me switch to favorites takes a little while i guess loading them go to search feature down there which will probably come in handy considering there are no buttons on pure honeycomb devices um, so you don't have a search feature that you can possibly just use here you're in find contacts but at home if you click on search and let's just click on so it brings up contacts from music, your contacts, anything else, the web I guess. Um, one of the cool things actually let me show you is that data monitor. Let's just go to settings quickly and let's click on data usage. So quite nice, just gives you a nice data cycle overview that you can sort of then I can't zoom into it right now if I just go for today. Not sure if it allows me to do that. Data roaming show Wi-Fi usage. Yeah, I don't think I can select more than work in progress. So there you go. That's a nice quick look at... Um, so we've got some notifications, some new emails have come in. Uh, nice drop down, very smooth. So this is working on a Nexus S. Again, I'm sure pure honeycomb, uh, pure ice cream sandwich devices will be faster, will be better. Uh, hope you enjoyed this quick look at ice cream sandwich. And if you want to go ahead and upgrade your Nexus S, again, you can just head to XD Developers. Um, but for tbreak.com, this is Abbas. Thanks very much for watching.